Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do simplifying of fractions. But the style we're going to concentrate on is where the questions only have multiplication and division. Now before we start with fractions, you need to be okay with the summary of LCMs discussed in the grade 9 revision video. Also, you need to be comfortable with the common errors that were discussed in fractions. Fractions is all about style. When they say maths has style, they are specifically talking about fractions because in fractions you'd find that the original style of maths is lost or it's written incorrectly. Now when we're talking of style, we must remember that a plus always comes before a minus. In other words, I am not going to get minus 3 plus x. If you get that, you need to swap it and you need to write it as x minus 3 plus before a minus. The second style is that you must have it in alphabetical order. Now many times if it's not in alphabetical order, you can still get it correct. But in fractions, if it's not in alphabetical order, what it does is it makes the sum large and more challenging, more difficult. By getting it in alphabetical order, you do not repeat LCMs. So you reduce the amount of LCMs, making your question easier. For example, if I got y plus x, it is better to write it as x plus y. Then, we always try and write it as unknowns before knowns. Unknowns before knowns. More correctly, unknowns before constants. But remember, this is when I'm talking of two or more terms. In other words, I would have, if I had 3 minus x, it would be better to write it as minus x plus 3. That is if it is two or more terms. But what if I have one term x3? When it is one term then we write the number first and then the unknown. Okay. Now looking at these three styles you will notice that the first rule is affecting the third rule. Now, how do we fix that? How do I have a plus before minus, but I also want my unknown before my constant? That is where your factorizing rules come out. So, when I am given something like minus x plus 3, I want my unknown first. So, we take out a common minus. What am I left with? x minus 3. Remember a negative changes the signs. So if I were to simplify and check it, I would have a negative times x gives me negative x, negative times 3 gives me positive 3. When you are doing your style, it is important that you fulfill all three rules. If you don't, you're going to end up with x to the power 5 or x to the power 4 and then you can't factorize these sums. Now, how do we go about factorizing or simplifying a fraction? Fraction is always different from the norms. When we say simplify in fractions, then you must remember, since fractions are always against the norm, we're going to first factorize, then we're going to try and cancel, and then we are going to continue. So let's look at the first rules. Number one, make sure that your style is correct following the three rules. Number two, you're going to factorize. If you are not familiar with factorizing, go back to our previous video. You can look at the summary where we've discussed all five concepts of factorizing. And if you need more intense examples, then you need to go to all the separate videos where we discuss 
discuss each section in detail. After you factorized, see if there is a division or a multiplication. Division requires that you swap. And last, we are going to cancel. Okay, let us take the following example. Now, when we're doing division, look at our style. We've got unknowns before knowns. We've got a trinomial. We've got a difference of two squares and we've got unknowns before known. So for the first one, we don't need to worry. The style is sorted out. Now we need to factorize. In the first expression, we have three as a common. In the second expression, it is a trinomial. So we have a plus four into a minus one times we have difference of two squares a minus four a plus four and at the bottom we have take out a common a into a minus four now once we factorized there's no division so we don't need to swap. We can now cancel. Remember when you're canceling, you can cancel anything from the top line with anything from the bottom line. It doesn't matter if it's coming from the first expression or the second expression. You can cancel anything from top and bottom. So I can cancel this a minus one with a minus one at the bottom. I can cancel the a plus four on the top with the a plus four at the bottom even though the one is on the left hand side and the one is on the right hand side. Then I can cancel a minus 4 with a minus 4 and my answer 3 on the top and at the bottom I've got a leaving my final answer as 3 over a. Now let's take the following example x cubed minus 27 over 9 minus x squared divided by x cubed plus 3x squared plus 9x over 2x squared plus x minus 15. Now, let's first look at the style. If you would notice, 9 minus x squared is not the correct style. We need to change it. Now, if I make it minus x squared plus 9, which means now I'm putting an unknown before known, then the first rule of plus and minus is not working. So I take out a common and I'm left with x squared minus 9. Now, after we've done that, we need to factorize. How do I factorize x cubed minus 27? It is x minus 3 into x squared plus 3x plus 9. Now the denominator which was 9 minus x squared is now minus which I can't remove and x squared minus 9 becomes x minus 3 x plus 3. Then the division, we are going to change it to multiplication. But as soon as we change it to multiplication, this denominator moves on top. So I have 2x squared plus x minus 15 over x cubed plus 3x squared plus 9x. To factorize 2x squared plus x minus 15, we have 2x minus 5 and x plus 3. Right. And when we factorize, 
x cubed plus 3x squared plus 9x. We can see there is a common x. So I'm left with x into x squared plus 3x plus 9. And we still have to rewrite our first expression, which is x minus 3 into x squared plus 3x plus 9 times and then over negative x minus 3 x plus 3. Okay, now we can cancel the x minus 3 with the x minus 3. x squared plus 3x plus 9, x squared plus 3x plus 9, x plus 3 over x plus 3. What are we left with? On the top line, we are left with 2x minus 5 over negative x. And that would be your final answer. Thank you for watching this video.